During this project, we're going to be doing quite a lot of things which we've never done before. We've got engines that are going to be removed. We've got the cabin which is going to be stripped down entirely, leaving only the forward and aft staircases in position. They'll examine 300 miles of cabling and deep clean the 82,000 gallon fuel tanks in the wings. In all, 6,100 parts will be replaced. It would take one man working alone 22 years to complete the sea check. She's the daddy, she's the oldest in the fleet. It's her sixth birthday next week. And uh, we've currently just taken delivery of our 50th. Between number one and number 50, yeah, she's the granddaddy. What we've got to worry about here, guys, this is the first time we've ever done this job. Ross Wilding is leading a team of engineers. Today, we're going to be removing the radome from the nose of the aircraft. The radome is this big nose housing that we've got on the front of the aircraft assembly here that protects the radar antenna. This is the first time we've ever done this job. First time I've done it, first time you've done it. What we do is get the sling attached so we've got the pins in control to take the thing out. And hopefully, we're not going to have any problems. We're out there looking for minute cracks in anywhere of the structure. This aircraft's moving in flight all day long, and obviously the stresses impacted can be there on the smallest little bolts. And one small bolt having a small crack can be catastrophic. It's a lot of pressure when you're handling equipment this size and this expensive. Ross plans to attach the $150,000 radar to a harness perfectly designed for this job. Once it's clear of the fuselage, he'll lower it to the ground. Just be careful on the, on the front there, guys, yeah? Any knock can cause irreparable damage. Once this thing gets free from the structure, we have no idea what it's going to do. It could spin, it could drop, it could lift. OK, I'm coming down. Guys, once you've got hands on, I'm going to come down, all right? Everything's going good now, obviously. This is the uh, precarious bit while it's sitting on there. I don't want to leave it hanging too long. It's a very expensive piece of equipment, so we uh, want to safely down on the ground now. We're looking good, we're looking good. Ross has avoided any expensive breakages. Okay. But even in this high-tech facility, things don't always go exactly to plan. Uh, it's literally a spanner in the works. There's a, uh, Drop spanner inside, we're going to have to fish out. The slightest dent can damage the radome beyond repair. Job done.